I had started my career when I was 17 professionally, playing recitals from the age of seven. Um, I've done a lot of these works with different people and through my life experience. And I'm very conscious with the life of Chopin what happened toward the very end of his life. Um, I love hearing the professors teach and demonstrate and talk, um, but I especially love hearing them play. Um, and for the legacy forums, in particular, hearing them play and then also speak about their absolutely amazing professors and formative years and advice to pianists. <laughs> uh, well, so the overall atmosphere is, is wonderful. I love that it's a solo piano festival without a competition component. I think that's um, incredibly important fostering an environment that's supportive. It makes you feel that you can come here at any stage of your development or any stage of your repertoire learning um, and that you can make it what you want. It's, it's a lot of fun, you know, we're all in the dorms, we have excursions, um, the faculty are incredibly accessible to us, they're around, they're at all of the classes that we go to, um, so it, it's, uh, it's uh, very supportive and very fun. <laughs> and, and shape, line, I mean, one of the reasons that I, I wanted to play the Mendelssohn as an encore was just because in that piece you have to have a singing line. See, that's what's important to me. So that my practicing is not just mechanical practice. Of course I practice slow. I practice hand seven. But a lot of my practicing is singing the phrase and finding the sound. You know, I'm very concerned in my playing about character. Costs are always really difficult in the music world because already most conservatories were paying near, uh, like, if, if without scholarships or anything, we could be paying near uh, up to 70k a year. And then added to that, uh, festivals this length normally cost around like two thousand, three thousand dollars at least. So being able to come here and not pay for tuition, uh, really, it really just gives us. It really gets the best pianists here, and it really helps inspire everyone, like seeing everyone else play in master classes and stuff, which just really inspires me. I found the uh, number of faculty and uh, the fact that I could have a lesson with almost every single one of them really unique because I got to really see even like varying perspectives on music, and I would bring the same piece for like three different teachers and. They would have different interpretations, which really teach, uh, teaches you to stretch your imagination and think for yourself instead of just following what the teacher does.
beauty and glory of being an artist. Um, the practice room are in the first and second floor, so we have a kind of a sign up time. So each people probably can get three to five hours of grand piano practice. Um, and then there are lots of upright piano practice room as well, so you can practice actually as many as you, as much as you want. And then the lessons are in the faculty studio in the third floor, um, which has a very good facility, and the pianos are great. Um, so the community has just been so nice um, and and really reassuring to be around such kind people who are also such awesome musicians. It is very clear that this is completely for the good of talented piano students. The fact that it's tuition free is a miracle. I don't know of any other festival in the summer quite like this. Well, this festival is definitely very special. I think it's one of the most special festivals I've ever attended. I've heard about RPPF for a number of years since its inception, but I really didn't know how marvelous it is until being here this summer. Well, the main thing is that I've been bowled over by the quality of the students. I mean, they are really represent kind of the best of all these schools and they come you know from top conservatories in the US, Canada, China and they're among the best students of those conservatories and they're very nice and they're very responsive so it's been a lot of fun to actually work with them. So the dream is that every university in America would be like what Rebecca Penis is doing here in the festival so this is really an amazing thing. There is a particularly delightful atmosphere here among the community of faculty and students. The faculty who are members of the international circle of, um, of professional musicians um, and who therefore often know each other have the possibility of reuniting with old friends and at the same time there is uh, an absence of formality in the relations between the, the teachers and the students which permits everybody respectfully to share the, what, what other people have to offer.